so today I'm going to dye this dress here. Um, it's been loved and worn a lot. Um, it's just made out of a, a denim, a really lightweight denim, and it's been washed and worn and loved, and there's a few stains on it. So I'm just going to um, tie it up. You can see it, the whole thing. Um, I'm going to tie it up and dip it today to give it some new life and kind of upcycle it and just try to get some more um, life out of it. So that's my project for today. All right, so now I have this um, dress on my impromptu ironing board here and I'm going to start to fold it. Um, I've decided I want to do um, my nail burrito fold on this one. It, um, I think it will look nice on this. Sometimes it's kind of hard to uh, fold up an existing uh, garment, especially if it has a lot of details, which this one does. I mean, it has a placket, it has pockets, it has um, the collar. So I'm gonna start, and this has a pleat here. Um, so I'm gonna start, I'm just gonna do my best to fold it up. And I'm gonna start by lining up all the seams, getting it as flat as it can be. It's not gonna be totally flat because it has this pleat, but I'm gonna just try my best. And I'm going to start with the center fold, the center front, excuse me. Um, and I'm going to just line it up seam to seam. Up here, it gets a little more tricky. Um, but I don't really want this to be like super geometric and perfect. Um, it doesn't need to be like that. This is kind of more of a relaxed piece. It's all about just giving it some new color, new life. Okay, so I'm going to accordion fold it one side at a time. And I'm gonna go into thirds on each side and so this sleeve here is like a cap sleeve and it's just barely too big for this that's fine i'm just going to ease it in um you can see here this is a little bit bigger than this center front seam that's okay i'm just going to kind of fudge it and then this is the hem here for the cap sleeve and it's a little bit over that's fine i'm just going to let it be and i'm going to give it a little steam to hold it in place And I'm gonna work my way down to the hem and I'm just gonna do the same thing. The hem is a little bit bigger because it has, well, it flares out a smidge and there's there's the dart up here. And then I have that hem, um, that pleat in the center front underneath the placket. So uh, I'm just gonna do my best, do it in thirds down here too. It might not be the same. That's gonna be fine. Then I'm going to turn it over and follow suit on this side. This is gonna be a nice pattern for this piece because um, it's very organic, but it's also going to be kind of vertical stripes. So it's going to be pretty flattering, I think. Because this piece is very like loose and baggy. So I think that some vertical stripes are kind of give it a little more optical illusion. Who doesn't want to look taller? All right. So. I'm going to start at the hem um, down here, and I'm going to start with some nails. So the nail burrito is a really great, a great pattern because um, it allows the indigo to get inside. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start rolling it. Normally I would say never roll anything. It's gonna 
be really not dyed. The resist is going to be really strong down here, and then at the top it'll be really blue if you if you did roll things, if you roll things too much. But with these nails, um, with the accordion fold, this is going to give you a stripe of image, and then the nails are going to allow liquid to come in. Um, so I'm going to put a lot of nails, no shortage of nails here. So the more nails you have, the more liquid can get into the folds. Okay, so, wow, look at that roll. It's really big and I have a lot of nails sticking out, so I'm just going to kind of poke them in. And these are my nails I only use for indigo dyeing, so they kind of have a little indigo on them. So once, once you dye anything with indigo, it's pretty much only for dyeing with indigo for the rest of time. And I'm going to put a big, strong rubber band around it and space it out to increase the tightness and okay poke in these nails as much as I can and now it is ready to go in the vat So now I'm going to dye uh, this denim dress here that I did the nail burrito with um, and I'm going to dip it quickly first and then peek in to make sure that I like what's happening. So I'm going to dip it now and I'm going to just tip it, well let's see, just going to get it in there. All right, so I dipped it one time and I'm going to check and see what's happening on the inside. You can see there that there still is some of that light colored denim, which is good. I want to have a good distribution of indigo and um, the original color. So I'm going to dip it just one more time, only on these corners, on these sides here, because that's going to establish the stripe. So I'm just gonna go in one more time and dip. Okay. And now I'm gonna do the other side. Squeeze it out. And I'm gonna go one more time. Okay. Now squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. and I'm gonna let it start to dry out overnight. Okay, so now I'm really excited to open up this nail burrito one. I am going to carefully cut the rubber bands, being careful not to cut the fabric. And they're just gonna pop right off. And I'm going to carefully unroll it and let all the nails come out. Ah, this one, I think we're going to get some really nice vertical stripes, which is what we wanted. Okay. <laughs> wow, I love this one. This looks really great. This turned out really nice. Here, I'm going to put it Whoa. Well, I'm excited to wear this one. So I'm just gonna let this dry out in the sun for a little while before I put it into the wash. I like to do that. And I'm just kind of looking at the details. I think it turned out really nice. It's gonna be a 
really nice update for this cute little dress. So this is what the dress looks like after I've washed and dried it. And you can see the indigo always fades a little bit after you wash, but I got a pretty nice dark color. So I'm very happy with it. So here's a 360 view of how the dress turned out. And I'm really pleased with the results. I like how you can see the original denim, but now there are indigo stripes on it. And I'm definitely gonna be able to get a lot more use out of this dress. If you like this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button, like, and comment if you have questions down below, or if you've done any indigo dyeing. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.